this is probably like the most important thing that I could possibly give to somebody. Knowledge and the confidence to go out there and try to tackle the world. This dude's name is Edgar. He's kind of shy, so it was kind of hard for me to even create this series itself in the first place. But luckily, I was able to get his consent. I was able to record him so I could upload these videos on YouTube. And although I couldn't really interview him or get much words from him in these videos, this is just us working. One of the best things about training is being able to refresh yourself and go back to day one. So it's always really cool for me to also jump back into the action. It's one, two, three, drop one, one shoulder, drop the next shoulder, and roll, and step back, right? So on screen, you guys see me throw a one, two, three, slip, slip, and roll. These are just simple basic movements that any boxer needs. You get a little bit of everything in this movement. You get offensive movements, you get defensive movements, and you just get movement like as in footwork. So this is a very beneficial drill, especially for those beginners. One of the problems I always have with athletes, especially those new athletes that are barely learning the sport, is the fact that they're a little bit too stiff. Dude has no real sports background, so it's kind of hard, especially for those people that have no sports background at all, to create certain movements that are beneficial in this sport. Bring your, 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 like your shoulders kind of like inward. So like you're right here, inward, inward, roll, one of the problems that I've seen with Edgar's stance is the fact that sometimes he loses his stance while punching other times he simply just doesn't really know how to use his hips and the hips are very important because the hips help you slip punches and not only that they generate power in your punches little by little with simple movements like these you gotta use your hips too you gotta use your hips so drop those hips Drive in with the hips, alright? So it's one, drive in, right? Drive in, right? One, drive in. Hook, drop, drop, roll, step back. In this mid work, you guys see me work different things with the basic jab and cross. This time I also incorporated pivots. It's kind of combining your punches with your footwork and this is very beneficial because now the athlete starts getting a grasp for angles, feeling out angles and seeing all these angles in which he can strike from. With the double jab, there's an, also an incorporation of distance, distance management, and I feel this is probably one of the most important things that you could do in any combat sports. Finding the range in which you can strike or a range in which you're not in danger. Here you guys see me incorporate a right cross at the end. This right cross is kind of teach him counter punching. I throw the right cross, he slips to the outside and tries to throw left hook to the body. These mid work routines are very simple. If you guys want to see these mid work routines on paper, they're going to be in the description box. So Close enough, right up the cut, left hook, right? 
before this mat work routine I kind of made him start a little bit further than usual because once again it goes back to the double jab I want him to close in that distance when and when he's close enough almost in a clinch I want him to throw the right uppercut left hook combination the reason why I want him to do this is First of all, to show him distance management. I want him to use that double jab to close in the distance. Then with the right uppercut, left hook combination, I also want to imply that you use those punches on the inside, almost in the clinch. You never really throw them from far away because if you throw them from far away, they're easily countered. And uppercuts, you never really throw them like from far away because if you throw them from far away and you miss, you're gonna get countered. So when you throw this punch, make sure that it, you throw it really fast, snaps on the bag, keep your chin tucked, and you bring it back fast, right? So make sure that the punches snap. Let's make it a little bit more like realistic. Okay, so it's you throw the jab, slip, slip, throw the jab, slip, slip. So as you guys can see, Edgar has a slow jab and it really does need a lot of work. I just want to get the mechanics down to show him how the jab is actually thrown. And the only thing that really needs some work is having the snap on his punches and actually throwing the jab at a very quick pace because the jab can't really be thrown like this. The jab has to be like a laser. For this round, Paul, let's, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, for this upcoming round, you're going to throw the jab, right? You're going to slip one way and then when you slip to the other way, Try to step in here at the same time that you're slipping. So the first slip is just a regular slip, right? And then for your second slip, try to step in here and slip at the same time. This will kind of set you up for a right hand counter, which would be your left hook. Let's say they're throwing that one, two combination. So you're waiting for that cross, right? So with their jab, you just simply slip and then you're gonna step in, in here, right? So like if somebody's throwing a cross, step in here and throw a hook, all right? You got it? For the second drill, it's all about distance management, slipping punches, throwing the jab, and finding the counter. I kind of like to build upon the mid work that we did. So here, just like with the mid work, with when somebody throws that right cross, I want them to throw that left hook to the body. What I try to do here is kind of use his imagination once again on the heavy bag because the heavy bag will never hit you back. He's gonna slip as if he were slipping the cross, but as he's slipping that cross, I kind of want him to step in on that cross and find Find that angle or find that distance in which he's close enough to be able to land that left hook to the body. Jab, slip, slip, step, left hook. There you go, bro. There you go. This is what you're gonna do for this round, right? I'm not gonna make it that confusing. So it's jab, slip, slip, step and slip. You're gonna throw the left hook, right hand, a double jab your way out, then again. You're gonna find the distance and you start all over, right? Jab, slip, slip and step, hook, right cross, double jab your way out. There you go. Boom, right cross, double jab your way out. Again. Jab, there you go. Boom, cross, double jab. You gotta make those punches snap. Boom. You can't let the back keep moving like that. Double jab. And so at the end, I just made him do burnouts. And while these burnouts are quite simple, all you have to do is really stay close to the bag and throw punches and bunches at a very close range. Of course, these punches don't really have that much technique. This is just mostly for muscle endurance and just to burn out at the end. Come on, endurance, come on, let's go. You got this, bro, come on. I'm on. Come on, come on, come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Nice, that's it, bro. It wasn't really too complicated as expected. I told you guys that he's a beginner, so a lot of the things that we're gonna do here are quite simple. Nothing too advanced is gonna be shown here, unlike the summer, that's your summer tournament where we just, where we kind of just skim through things and show people a lot of things at a very fast pace in which you don't really retain a lot of information because of the fact that we didn't really go too much into detail. It was quite a simple training session. Of course, there needs, of course there's some work that needs to be done. For example, his jab is not all that there. His punches don't really snap and there's really a lot of problems with his movements. His slipping looks kind of off. He looks kind of stiff still. So 
there's some work that needs to be done so hopefully you guys enjoy this first episode or two shall be out in a week or so so yeah man hopefully you guys enjoy all of this enjoyed our training sessions if you guys want to follow athlete i'll leave his information down below if you guys want to follow any of us on the team check us out in the description box as well so thank you guys